Every school year brings new things, including updated technology, desks, and equipment. But where do the old things go? Like this computer, for example. It is outdated and over the years has been replaced with this new Mac. Laptops and computers at Hemfield are a big part of the teaching experience. Mike Graham, the head of technology, takes care of that. Usually staff get a new laptop every uh, four years or so. Um, labs, depending on where they're at, uh, cycle through at about the same pace, maybe a little bit longer, uh, depending on the department. Um, we typically hold on to that hardware, um, so we'll use it for um, long-term substitutes that come in, um, other areas uh, that might just need a laptop for uh, website access uh, in different areas of the district. The school also leases the iPads. The leasing company will take back the iPads after three years. If broken iPads are repairable, the school district will repair it themselves. Um, depending on what condition it's in, you know, we might um, save a laptop for parts. Uh, so that we can repair things as accidents happen. Um, you know, we'll kind of cannibalize parts out of something that's been broken, uh, fit that into uh, another laptop to keep it running. When the time comes, the school will eventually recycle the technology. Ultimately, uh, we end up recycling everything. Uh, that usually happens um, anywhere from probably six to ten years after we've purchased uh, a piece of hardware. Um, but somewhere in that time frame, uh, we'll, we'll gather all the hardware, usually about twice a year, uh, that any hardware that's up for recycling, uh, and then ship it off to a recycler um, to get it out of the district. There are some exceptions to this recycling process. Hemfield is donating old media equipment to the Crispus Attics community in Lancaster to help them build a media center. Mr. Daig explains how this is possible. So we have a school board policy, uh, it's 706. Point one, uh, and that policy allows us to donate equipment that we're not using any longer uh, to charitable events or, or others outside the, uh, the district. Technology, however, is not the only thing that becomes old at this school. According to the maintenance department secretary, Kim James, most of the furniture that gets old in the school goes into storage closets. The maintenance team, however, is looking into auctioning it off or trying to resell it in order not to waste furniture that is still in pretty good condition. From Hemfield Happenings, I'm Xander Hughes.